Halo. Halo cek, halo. Ella HOD marde sradha ke. Namade inna vanna kutil ka kodukkan ulladaya. Bag namade handbookum baki rules um okke ulpadunnadaya. Oru bag Semua kotoran kita gunakan untuk itu. Nama kita conference hall ini ready aye tuan. Ecoh di mana ada bandar perta, nama kita staff ini ada arpa daaki. Ada ada branch ini berenda number conference hall ini mana edat ta. Amin itu ialah meeting kali ni, classroom ini lekar kotoran kita pergi umur, abade classroom ini kanda gunakan itu dana. Orang paper buat cerita unda, orang branch juga ada buat kerana bank ini number itu ada, abade ini di buat cerita orang bogan. joy and great pleasure. I share with you my feelings and views that our dedicated and talented students and faculty of Mechanical Engineering Department have completed their task of preparing
Parents, please collect the registration forms from the respective registration desks and return it back at the end of the program. Parents, please collect registration forms from the registration desks of the respective departments and return it back by the end of the program. Parents, please be seated back once you have collected the forms. Parents, please be seated back once you have collected the forms.
seated in the hall. Our chief guest will arrive soon. The program is about to begin. I request all parents, students and staff to be seated in the hall.
Good morning everyone. A warm welcome to one and all. This is indeed a special day for MBCT and hope this will be a special day for you too. This is the day which marks the initiation of our new students into the life of a professional. Let's all make this function a solemn ceremony. We begin the induction program Parados 2023. Our chief guests have arrived. Kindly stand in reverence. Parados literally is the entry song of a Greek play, which we are adapting here as a symbol of the drama of human life, a part of which our new students are beginning to enact on this campus today. Thus, we mark the beginning of our children's quest for knowledge with readings from the holy scriptures. Three representatives of the first-year students will now light the lamp and will read from the holy scriptures with the accompaniment of our staff choir. Our vocalist, Ms. Shilpa Susan Peter and Ms. Nida Chandran from the Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Mr. Anup K. Johnson from the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Ms Diana Alice Sugunan Ms Jomi James Ms Indu Luke and Dr Alice Thomas from the Department of Civil Engineering Mr Alan K Johnson Department of Mechanical Engineering Ms Shruti Janardhanan from the Department of Science and Humanities and Ms Priya G from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering and on the guitar Professor Joseph Cherian Department of Science and Humanities he is also the writer and composer of this prayer song on the keyboard Archit Stambhi of S7EE and Pranav Shankar of S3CS The ceremony of lighting the lamp a symbol of knowledge will now begin with his excellency most reverend dr anthony mar silvanos lighting the first wick followed by the students and the principal the prayer ceremony has been directed and coordinated by dr george zakaria professor and dean student affairs and ably assisted by dr nidhi mb associate professor department of mechanical engineering and dr deepak raj head of the department of physical education Let's begin the solemn ceremony with the college anthem followed by lighting the lamp kindly remain kindly stand for the ceremony Yeah. 
ഭഗവത്ഗീത അധ്യായം നാല് മുപ്പത്തിയെട്ട് മുപ്പത്തി ഒൻപത് ശ്ലോകങ്ങൾ നഹി ജ്ഞാനേന സദൃശം പവിത്രമിഹ വിദ്യതെ തത്സ്വയം യോഗ സംസിദ്ധ കാലേനാത്മനി വിന്ദതി ജ്ഞാനത്തിന് തുല്യമായി ഒന്നും തന്നെ ഇവിടെയില്ല അത് ഉത്തമമായ യോഗത്തെ പ്രാപിച്ചവന് തനിയെ ആത്മാവിൽ കാലക്രമേണ വിളങ്ങുന്നതാണ് ശ്രദ്ധാവാൻ ലഭതേ ജ്ഞാനം തത്പര സംയതേന്ദ്രിയ ജ്ഞാനം ലബ്ധ്വാ പരാം ശാന്തി അചിരേണാധിഗച്ചതി ജ്ഞാനനിഷ്ഠനും ശ്രദ്ധാവാനും ഇന്ദ്രിയങ്ങളെ ജയിച്ചവനുമാണ് ജ്ഞാനം ലഭിക്കുക ജ്ഞാനം ലഭിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ താമസമന്യേ പരമമായ ശാന്തിയെ പ്രാപിക്കുവാനും കഴിയും from the holy quran surah al-baqarah ayah 269 bismillahir rahmanir rahim yutil hikmata man yasha wa man yutil hikmata faqad utiya khayran kaseera wa ma yazakkaru illa ulu al-albab God grants wisdom to whoever he wills and whoever is granted wisdom is certainly blessed with a great privilege but none will be mindful of this except people of reason chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 you are the salt of the earth but if salt has lost its taste how shall its saltness be restored it is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trodden under foot by men you are the light of the world a city set on a hill cannot be hid nor to men light a lamp and put it under a bushel but on a stand and it gives light to all in the house let your light so shine before men that 
they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. This is the word of the Lord. be seated may I now request all the dignitaries to kindly occupy their seats on the dais his excellency most reverend dr. Anthony Mas Silvanus Bishop of the major archiepiscopal curia of the Malangara Catholic major archiepiscopal church kindly be seated sir Sri Ramesh Miraj divisional general manager and country head Nissan Digital India LLP Sri Christo George, Founder, Chairman and Managing Director, Haikon India Limited. Reverend Father John Vergas, Bazaar of MBCT. Dr. Abraham T. Matthew, Principal of MBCT. Dr. Vishwanath Rao, Vice Principal of MBCT. And Dr. M.J. Jayasri, Chairperson, SIP Cell and IQSE Coordinator, MBCET. Reverend Father John Vergas, the Bazaar of MBCET, is a sure haven for all the MBCETians. May I invite Reverend Father for the welcome address. Good morning to one and all. At the very outset, let me welcome this beggar gathering to this function. His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Mar Silvanus, Bishop of the Malangara Catholic Archiepiscopal Curia and Apostolic Visitator to Europe and Oceania. Mr. Ramesh Miraj, Divisional General Manager, Nissan Digital India, LLP, Nissan Motor Corporation. Mr. Christy George, Chairman and Managing Director, Haikan India Limited. Dr. Abraham T. Matthew, Principal. 
డాక్టర్ విశ్వనాథ రావు వైస్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ రెవరెండ్ ఫాదర్ థామస్ ముగుళంబరత్ అసిస్టెంట్ బర్సర్ రెవరెండ్ ఫాదర్ థామస్ పూర్ణాల్ ది క్యాంపస్ కౌన్సిలర్ రెవరెండ్ ఫాదర్ థామస్ పుదుప్పరంబిల్ ది వార్డెన్ ఆఫ్ మారిఫ్రేమ్ హాస్టల్ రెవరెండ్ డాక్టర్ జోసఫ్ వెన్మానేత్ the professor of law college mar gregorius law college dr mj jayasri iqsc coordinator dr elizabeth kurivela chairperson uhv cell ms elizabeth varghese convener admission committee dr archana p das first year coordinator dean hods professors members of faculty staff head of sister institutions beloved parents and dear students i am immensely happy to address you on this occasion of parados 2023 the ceremony to welcome the 22nd batch of btech students the ceremony is named parados after the invocation song marking the entry of actors in a classical greek drama dear students this is the ceremony which initiates into the engineering studies of four year duration on this occasion as the representative of the management it is my pleasant duty to welcome all of you to of you to this institution before i begin my task i think it is only appropriate to draw your attention to the vision of the founder and certain aspects of this institution Mar Basilius College of Engineering and Technology established in the year 2002 was founded by the late his beatitude Cyril Basilius Catholicos the first major archbishop of Trivandrum the college was started with 240 students after two decades has 2200 students and about 300 staff members This college has been established with a noble objective of providing technical education based on noble human values. I quote the words of the founder, this engineering college is meant to train and develop men and women of high caliber equipped with the most modern scientific knowledge and technological skills destined not only to help people in their march to progress but also to bring glory and honor to our people. and our country dear students i am quite certain that you will strive for excellence and skills and in the pursuit of success in life in terms of your commitment to bring happiness to our fellow beings and the development of our nation the college in its commitment to provide quality higher education the realizations of this its motto duk in oltu meaning leading to the heights of excellence benchmark for institutional assessment and got accredited by nac with a grade and all the btech programs got nba accreditation since 2016 with the dedication and the commitment of the of all stakeholders mbct moves ahead of the path of progress now the college offers seven btech programs and seven mtech programs the college is a research center approved by the kerala technological university the ugc conferred autonomous college status on the institution in 2020 taking into account its performance and pursuit of quality we would achieve this only because of the wholehearted effort of the faculty members staff students and the support of the parents i thank all of them for their efforts i would like to remind all of you that in entails the greater responsibility of sustaining and en- enhancing the quality attained dear students and parents our vision is to be an institution molding globally competent professionals as epitomes of noble values In the words of our patron his beatitude more and more basilius cardinal clemens catholicos the major archbishop of trivandrum we wish to reach out to all sections of our society 
without the distinction of gender, caste, religion or creed. We have to be a moral to the society, equipping ourselves to face the challenges of the times. As you know, we are living in an age of challenges and a competition, so be vigilant and alert. Make use of the time at your disposal. Distractions will be so many. But do not fall prey to tempting situations. Be judicious in the use of the social media and the interventions in the cyber world. Do remember that in this college there will not be any compromise on discipline and punctuality. At this age, you might be obsessed with the notion of freedom. But remember that freedom is not top if not properly understood and used will lead to anarchy. So be wise to use it for your moral and spiritual growth for a successful life. A word of thanks to you, dear parents, for the faith you have in us, which you have shown by choosing MBCET for the study of your children. Your continued support will be a great strength for the institution. I request you to continue the monitoring of your child and thereby help us to help your child grow. Now let me turn to my task. We are indeed blessed by the presence of His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Silvanos, Bishop of the Major Archiepiscopal Curia, who is presiding over the function. His Excellency is also the apostolic visitor to Europe and Oceania. Indeed, the MBCT family is privileged to his, have His Excellency with us today. On behalf of the MBCT family, let me ex extend a warm and hearty welcome to His Excellency. <clears throat> Mr. Ramesh Miraj, a product of the IIT in Engineering and Business Administration and Management is the Divisional General Manager of Nissan Digital India, Nissan Motor Corporation. Mr. Ramesh Miraj and his uh, team is here as our guest of honor today. I feel honored to welcome Mr. Ramesh Miraj together his team to this function. Mr. Christo George, Chairman and Managing Director of Hikon India, is with us on our, as our guest of honor to give the felicitation address. Hikon is an industry in the field of power electronics, IT and solar energy led by the motto of powering the nation. Let me extend a warm welcome to Mr. Christo George and his family to Parados 2023. Dr. Abraham D. Matthew, our principal, is committed to lead us, lead our institution to a greater heights. I welcome him most cordially. Dr. Dr. S. Vishwanatha Rao, Vice Principal and Dean Academics, is rendering yeoman service to the college, and I welcome him most sincerely. Father Thomas Mugulambarath, our uh, assistant bursar, all fathers, sisters, those who are present here, I most cordially welcome all of them to this function. Ms. Elizabeth Varghese, Ms. Elizabeth Varghese, Associate Professor, Department of Electrical Engineering, as the convener of the admission committee, has been taking care of the admission process over the years. This is also, she has executed the work effectively and fortlessly. She has been assisted by Dr. Lexi Matthew, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE and the Admission Committee. This being the culmination point of the admission work, I thank all of them as I welcome Ms. Elizabeth Varghis, Dr. Lexi Matthew, Dr. Bobin Saji George, Dr. Deepak Raj, Dr. Christy Francis and other committee members. I cordially welcome them. Dr. M.J. Jayasri, Chairperson, SIP and IQSC Coordinator. Dr. Elizabeth C. Kurivala, Chairperson, UHV Cell. 
and Dr. Archana P. Das, first year coordinator, are taking care of the students' induction program. I welcome all of them. I welcome all the deans, professors, members of the faculty, and staff who are here to make this function a great success. Finally, I bow before the Lord Almighty and pray for his blessings on the institution, especially the new aspirants of engineering studies, the new comers. Uh, once again, I welcome all of you to this function. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, Reverend Father. The success of a campus is mostly the reflection of the one who leads it. In this respect, MBCT campus has been fortunate enough to gain immensely from our principal, Dr. Abraham T. Matthew. May I call upon our principal for the principal's address. Most respected and venerable His Excellency, Reverend Dr. Anthony Marsilvanos, Bishop of the Major Arch Episcopal Curia of the Malangara Catholic Major Episcopal Church and the Apostolic Visitator to Oceania, a respected Chief Guest of the Ceremony, Sri Ramesh Miraj, Divisional General Manager and Head of Nissan Digital, LLP under the famous Nissan Motor Corporation, our guest of honor and a well-wisher of MBCET, Mr. Christopher George, founder and CMD of Hikan India Limited, officials from Nissan Digital, officials from Hikan India, our beloved distinguished members of the governing body, academic council and the board of studies, beloved Berser Father John Vergis, Assistant Berser Father Thomas Mughalamburath, respected Bursas, directors and heads of our sister institutions, respected Vice Principal Dr. S. Vishwanath Rao, deans, heads of the departments, controller of examinations, officers and heads of sections, dear members of the faculty and staff, chairperson of the SIP cell and IQAC coordinator Dr. M. J. J. Sri, first year coordinator, and Head of Science and Humanities Department, Dr. Archana P. Das, Vice President and Executive Committee members of the PTA, and most important part of this August gathering, our newly admitted BTEC students, their proud parents, our guests, invitees, Madam Veena George, Minister of Health, Government of Kerala, and all parents and students, Members of the media, beloved student volunteers, ladies and gentlemen, very warm good morning to you all. Today we are here to witness the ceremonial induction of the 22nd batch of the undergraduate students of this college. And we have witnessed the prayerful initiation of the batch now. On this joyous occasion, we are blessed by the presence of His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Marsilvanos. His Excellency is visiting our college for the first time uh, after the ordainment as Bishop last year. We are also honored by the august presence of our celebrated guests, Sri Ramesh Miraj, Sri Krishna George, and all the galaxy of parents. They are very kind enough to accept our invitation. We also have the senior officer, officials from the Nissan Digital and Hikan India joining us in the audience. We are honored by the presence of the uh, parents along with their students and they have bestowed their trust on us and admitted their wards to our college. Even though our students have been going for internship in many industries like Indian Railway, Tata Alexi, Cubus, Cognizant, KSAB, PWD and so on, this is for the first time we got an opportunity in Nissan Digital. Three or four students have been given permission to undertake internship 
along with their studies this year. Mark Baselius is the first college in Kerala to secure this status. We could achieve this through the best efforts of our Directorate of Corporate Relations. We are obviously grateful to Nissan Digital India and the head, Mr. Ramesh Miraj, for the uh, kind consideration given to us. On a similar lines, Hikon India has shown their willingness to start a product development center on our campus where they will use the ecosystem to convert their technologies to marketable product. Hikon will also provide avenues for our faculty and students in the academic arena. Today we will exchange the memorandum of understanding with them to start the activities soon. I thank Mr. Christo George and Dr. Usha Kumari for their joint efforts in making this MOU possible. The ceremonial initiation seen now is the beginning of studies of the new batch, the 22nd batch I men as I mentioned in the engineering education and they are going towards a most rewarding career. We are sure about it. We assure all support for them and welcome them to our midst. It's my pleasant privilege to give a very brief overview of the academic and other systems of the college. Further details are available on our website. A handbook will also be given to each student when they go to the classes after this function. College was started in 2002 with four BTEC programs and an intake of uh, 240 students. Our current intake is 630 per year for BTEC. College has progressed well and has become autonomous in 220. Sorry, autonomous in 2020. College is affiliated to the APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University and the university awards the degree. College will issue the grade cards and provisional certificates. We got the NAC accreditation with A grade in 2016. There are seven BTEC programs and seven MTEC programs. The five BTEC programs are accredited since 2016. Two new programs have been started last year in 2022. I am glad to mention that after becoming autonomous in 2020, the first batch of MTech students have received their MTech degrees from the APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University last year. The second batch have just completed their studies this year. This year, in 23-24, we have conducted a significant revision of the beta curriculum to bring in many major improvements to keep up with the technological developments, including the possibility of one full semester internship in the eighth semester. Curriculum has provision for specialization through minor and honors apart from the elective courses. This will enable the student to master the topics and earn additional credit for better career or for higher studies. Every student will have to take the studies seriously and complete the course without any backlog. We earnestly seek the support of the parents in this regard. Our college is also having PhD programs in all the departments. The college has more than 15 MOUs with different industries and organizations, and it is our pursuit to reap the benefit of those MOUs through consistent efforts from the faculty side and the student side. What is special about autonomy? Autonomy is the recognition of the merit and commitment of an institution to the academic excellence. This is highly valued by the industries and they reach out to the college in various ways. The main advantage of autonomy is the academic freedom. We exercise that freedom to the maximum extent. Within the last three years, we have been continuously updating our curricula. Examination, with respect to the examination and grading, we follow the grading pattern of the APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University, but we have a very dedicated examination cell in the college under the controller of examinations. Instructions and evaluations are conducted in a very systematic and transparent manner. We follow the methodology of continuous evaluation through tests, assignment, quiz, etc. And there will be end semester examination as well. Final grade or CGPA will reflect the cumulative performance on a 10-point scale. So the student will have to be progressing well 
from the first semester itself so that they can earn a higher CGPA. We follow a very well organized faculty advisory system. Each student will be mentored by a faculty advisor. One faculty advisor may have roughly 20 students for mentoring. FA will be the first point of contact for the parents to know about the welfare and progress of their ward. Contact details of the advisors for the newly joined students shall be made available during the SIP. There will also be first year coordinator and associate coordinators to advise the first year students. There is also a qualified counselor available on the campus. College always promotes co-curricular and extracurricular activities of the student and thereby enable them in their professional and personal development. Sports and games are part of the campus life in our college. The Vesalian basketball tournament and the Vesalian volleyball tournament are some of the examples of our commitment to the field of sports and games. There are two units of NSS, National Service Scheme, for, and a variety of student clubs, professional bodies, literary and cultural activities, community service wings, charity forum, and many such student bodies which actually enable the student to develop their overall personality and the interpersonal skills, along with good character and virtues. College has dedicated teams to focus on the student's training and placement. There is a separate placement unit which is coordinating the placement with the industries. We are able to achieve more or less 100% place placement through on-campus or off-campus opportunities. College is also arranging career guidance sessions, certification programs and mentoring sessions to help the student get, to get ready for a rewarding career and a successful professional life. There are several MOEs, as I mentioned, with the industries and other organizations to facilitate the student's placement. Skill development training is a specialty of our college under the autonomy. Our objective is to make the student industry ready by providing the necessary training and value additions through multiple avenues. Parents have to instruct their wards to utilize the opportunity to the full extent. They should allow the students to work beyond class hours to learn something extra. SDP starts from the first year itself. College has a policy for promoting innovations and startup as envisaged in the national innovation and startup policy of the union government. The BTEC regulation has a provision for break of study for students to work on their own startups. The IEDC and the Institute Innovation Council are known for the vibrancy of the activities related to student innovation and startup. If any student has the urge for innovative projects, he or she can contact IEDC. Students can work beyond the class hours and we have the staff support for that. Our alumni are present all over the world. They occupy high positions in their profession. College maintains a strong relation with them alumni and seek their support in various ways. They guide the students in getting admissions abroad for higher studies and also to get good employment. A large number of alumni are running their own industries as well. We gratefully acknowledge the contribution of alumni in connecting the college to the industry and the institutions. There are also student awards and financial assistance sponsored by the Alumni Association named as MV CETA. Mar Baselius College Engineering, College of Engineering and Technology Alumni Association. Parent Teacher Association, we maintain a very cordial and proactive relationship with the parents. We also have a formal Parent Teacher Association. There is an executive committee consisting of the parent members as well as the teacher members. PTA executive has parent representation from all the classes of all batches. Pre Vice President is from among the parents and the principal will be the president. About the induction program, as I mentioned earlier, the student induction program is a mandatory activity to be conducted by the college as per the guidelines of the AACT. More details and scope of SIP will be presented by Dr. Archana P. Das, who is the coordinator. All students are required to participate in the SIP. Attendance in each session is compulsory. The classes under SIP will start from Monday 11 September onwards and will continue till 21 September. 
More details will be explained during the department level interactions after the formal function. As a customary note, I would like to mention that nowadays many people think that BTEC in computer science is the lifeline of the future. It is not the truth. Computer science has also become a core branch like any other discipline of engineering. In fact, information technology and computer applications are the lifelines for all professional fields, including engineering. All disciplines have the relevance and opportunities. Without doubt, we can tell that all the engineering disciplines have its own dis opportunities and a path for it for facing throughout your life because the changes in the world of work are happening very fast. You must set a goal and start working to achieve this from now on. Continuous improvement and lifelong learning are imperative for the successful professional life in any field. Engineering degree endows you with the power to start a career with confidence and at a higher status. Get ready for very proud. With this, I conclude. Thank you all once again for being with us. Good day. Jai Hind. To grace this auspicious occasion, may I now request His Excellency to give the benedictory address. Forward with great hope and excitement to the bright future that lies ahead. Today, I would like to invite you to reflect on the primary purpose of education and to keep in mind the mission of Mar Baselius Engineering College, a renowned Soro Malangara Catholic Institute. Speaking about the true purpose of education, Swami Vivekananda said, we want that education by which character is formed, strength of mind is increased, the intellect is expanded, and by which one can stand on one's own feet. And dear friends, being a Catholic education institute, Mar Baselius College of Engineering is different. It is not primarily for jobs that we have been training students. The mission of Mar Baselius has always been to cultivate knowledge and more importantly, wisdom that will lead to a more human, just and sustainable world through the education of citizens and leaders with competence, conscience, and compassion. In pursuit of this vision, we seek to preserve the finest of the past while for forging ahead courageously. We must be individuals with an unquenchable thirst for knowledge and wisdom in order to influence our nation and the world. We seek to impart wisdom to our students. Data is all about facts and figures. When the data is collected and organized, you get information. Information that is understood and properly organized is called knowledge. And what is wisdom? How is different from knowledge? Wisdom is the proper use of knowledge. Wisdom means to have new eyes, to look at the reality, to look at other persons, to look at an event from a broader perspective. You can become a good human person only when you gain wisdom. To be wise also means to be able to discern between good and evil and to choose always good. The ultimate aim of education is to impart wisdom. Attending wisdom, attaining wisdom is a lifelong process. You can never cease to be a seeker of wisdom. Your studies at Marbaselios will help you in this journey. 
after you complete your studies here you will continue to gather information and knowledge by reading books attending lectures visiting new places or having exchanges with new cultures persons events etc wisdom will enable you to use that knowledge for your good and for the good of this society we do not simply teach you what to think but more importantly how to think today almost all the information is available on your fingertips you can find immense source of information in internet but remember internet or chat gpt cannot lead you to wisdom this is the relevance of an education institute and teachers in teaching learning creativity and erudition mar baselius college upholds an exceptionally high standard of academic excellence the students receive extensive and sophisticated training in accordance with the rapid pace of world and scientific advancements therefore beloved students make the most of your time here expand the limits of knowledge our scientists are making up making us proud and telling the world the sky is not the limit after a successful chandrayaan 3 mission we have also launched our new ambitious project aditya l1 to seize the time dear friends to own your skills you have sufficient freedom to explore and demonstrate your creative brilliance recently the making of euv by the students here in one such example unity and diversity marbesilios makes special efforts to integrate and expand our efforts regarding diversity equity and inclusion inclusion here you come from various regions religions and cultures yet you form a single family of basilians there is an exchange of ideas and creativity as well as the development of firm friendships we belong to a nation that is interconnected diverse and culturally rich because india is our home all cultures that live here are our sisters therefore we must continue to cultivate nourish and sustain our college as a multicultural community that is diverse equitable and inclusive let us learn to respect other people their cultures and their beliefs we are different from one another but let us not remain separated or divided let us uphold the culture of unity and diversity i believe it is imperative that we as marbesilios alumni embrace our responsibility to make a greater contribution to our society by participating the values that we learn from this catholic institute commitment to truth and social justice as the students of a catholic college we are called to shine a light in the world and we are required to have the courage empathy and compassion to collaborate with others to make the world more human equitable and sustainable a college exists not only to produce and disseminate knowledge but also to assist students in making ethical and responsible decisions that advance the common interest we are living in a post truth world i hope you understand what is post truth today 
truth is often determined by some people who decide what others should believe they present a falsehood in a credible manner and use the media and the social media to implant the lie in the minds of the people that is what is called post truth only the most provocative most controversial and the most absurd voices are given a platform moderate opinions are rarely shared or liked online as a catholic college dedicated to truth and justice we must help discern truth from the lies and distortions used to maintain power and injustice we must empower the silent majority and disseminate fair realistic information we must educate citizens who are intelligent free open minded able to communicate and dedicated to the common good we must also educate citizens who honestly support each other and follow their conscience this is how you become catalyst of change jesus christ in his sermon on the mount gave us a golden principle st matthew chapter 7 verse 12 in everything do to others what you would have them do to you the father of our nation mahatma gandhi who finds his source of wisdom and inspiration in jesus teachings said if you want to make a change begin with yourself be the change you wish to see in others i believe you can become citizens and leaders with the knowledge and commitment to create a more human just and sustainable world god bless you all thank you thank you your excellency for your inspiring words of wisdom we are indeed honored to have in our midst sri ramesh miraj divisional general manager and country head nissan digital india llp nissan motor corporation company as our chief guest as divisional general manager and country head sri ramesh leads the nissan digital india delivery and operations with the digital transformation enabler vision at different levels prior to this he was head of engineering in the nissan digital hub during january 2019 to november 2020 Before joining Nissan Digital India LLP, Sri Ramesh was in the software industry for almost 20 years. Sri Ramesh has completed BE in Civil Engineering from College of Engineering Pune, MTech in Structural Engineering from IIT Madras, and secured the IIT Madras Swami Ananda Ramakrishnan Merit Prize for the best outgoing student. Sri Ramesh also secured Executive MBA from Symbiosis Institute of Business Management, Pune. We are very fortunate to have Sri Ramesh Miraj as the chief guest of today's function. May I now humbly invite him for the keynote address. Thank you for that sweet introduction. Uh, His Eminence and Most Revered Dr. Anthony Mar Silvanos. Bishop of Major Archbishop School, Curia of the Malankara Catholic Major Archbishop School Church, and Apostolic Visitor of Ocean Asia. Uh, Father John Vargas, uh, Principal Doctor Abraham Matthewsir, Honorable Guest Sri Christo George, Chairman and MD, Icon India Limited, Distinguished Faculties, Guests. dear parents and most importantly the bright and eager faces of this uh, new engineering batch students so whenever i go to any educational institute it's, it's been a uh, exciting time actually it it feels like going back to the roots where we build our foundations for our strong professional life and i'm really excited on this special day uh, which is a beginning for your professional life 
A new start would always have some nervous moments, a little fear of unknown. At the same time, you will be filled with a lot of dreams and a determination to do well in the career. So many times, I think, as many speakers said, you know, you have the information and knowledge on the fingertips uh, in current world. And that gives a lot of choices to choose from. And uh, it, it ends up into, a, you know, multiple choices and a paradox of multiple choices. I'm sure many parents and students would have gone medical versus engineering. Uh, so, yeah, so I think in our world, probably I can relate to the parents. For me, the life was much simpler. I mean, for me, when I was in school, uh, pretty much I was in a humble uh, village background. For me, engineer means somebody who builds construction or builds some structures, right? Because that is the exposure that we had. So, uh, of course, you know, uh, due to my background, I definitely wanted a good job opportunity, a stable financial uh, source of income for my family. And that is how I started with a diploma in civil engineering uh, immediately. So my probably engineering stream started much earlier, a couple of years earlier than what you are. And that is where, uh, you know, uh, the, the real core engineering that taught me how to solve the problems, how to reach the complex situation, how to take care of. Having a good physics and mathematics uh, really helped me. And once I left my native place, that is where I got exposed to a much better education and it was uh, never looking back. So why engineering? I think, uh, of course, you know, all of us know uh, engineering involves complex problem solving and designing solutions. That would have been exciting uh, to you all as well. It also offers the opportunity to contribute to the technological advancement and innovations. And uh, we have seen in last few decades uh, the enormous technological advancements that we have seen. Of course, medical is also, uh, uh, you know, innovating uh, many of the, you know, uh, complex uh, health issues, but I think uh, engineers is, uh, you know, something who changed the world through those advancements. I think uh, engineering also provides diverse, you know, uh, specialization, right from the civil engineering to the aerospace engineering. And uh, I, I believe the problem solving skills and the analytical skills that you develop uh, in engineering, they take you through the, uh, your life uh, almost in every sphere, actually. So they are uh, successful professionals. And it is one of the stream which gives a, a global opportunities. Of course, there are other streams, but probably other professional degrees might have to tune to the particular regions and particular countries. But engineering is something uh, very global. And it's a global profession. And that is how you have a chance to op uh, work in a lot of international projects and collaborations. Yeah, so engineering, uh, engineers can work on projects that have a very positive impact on society, such as sustainable infrastructure, clean energy and healthcare. So engineering to me is not just a field of study and it's not just a profession. It, it needs to be a passion. It is a way of thinking problem solving and creating solutions that impact society. And uh, so embrace it and you will find your career to be truly extraordinary. Engineers are architects of future, the ones who dream up the new technologies and push the boundaries of what is possible. So today you join this illustrious, illustrious community of problem solvers and the problems, possibilities that lie ahead are boundless. However, the journey is not going to be simple. There will be challenges. You will feel, you will face long nights of studying, grueling exams and complex projects that may seem insurmountable, but remember, it is overcoming these challenges that you will discover your true potential and emerge as a stronger and more capable engineer. So in this era of rapid technological advancement, the world looks to the engineers to address some of the most pressing problems like climate change, clean energy, healthcare, and many more. So the solutions to these global challenges will come from these minds in front of me. 
So today you symbolize the future of engineering and the journey begins now. I have few uh, messages as I take this opportunity, uh, you know, here. One is, you know, embrace the challenges. As you embark on this exciting journey, remember that challenges are opportunities in disguise. So embrace these challenges. It would help you to discover your true potential. Only by overcoming them, you will grow and become a very skilled problem solver that the world needs. So your journey may be tough at times, but the rewards will be worth every effort. So stay resilient, stay determined, and I'm sure you will thrive in your career. As you uh, join, I, I believe uh, our education system many times, uh, you know, uh, emphasize more on the marks and the grades. But I think it is very important you, you know, surrender all of those degrees, all your grades, you know, uh, to those certificates are now. You are equal in front, you know, when you join these institutes. So you need to see how to take every day and learn, collaborate and innovate, basically. The most groundbreaking innovations are born through these diverse minds and through working together. So embrace collaboration with your peers, with your uh, student peers, professors and mentors. Engage in discussions, you know, sharing those ideas. Learn from each other. If there are techno phase, if there are uh, hackathons, codeathons, I think you should uh, make those, take those opportunities and uh, develop your overall uh, leadership and technology skills. Ethics and responsibility, I think uh, you, while you strive uh, for excellence in technical skills, I think your commitment to ethical practices and social responsibility is also important. Consider the consequences of your innovations and how they align with the greater good. So for future engineers, I think uh, when you have a power to shape up more sustainable and equitable world, I think you should be careful about all the ethical practices. Be curious and uh, lifelong learner. I think that is one important, uh, you know, uh, lessons I learned from my life. While I, uh, you know, uh, started with the civil engineering and then finished my graduation from College of Engineering, Pune. And I was very passionate. I was very strong in the core engineering. I wanted to be a structural consultant. So pretty much, you know, even though I could have uh, done my comp science in IIT, I, uh, I opted for a structural engineering. And that is where I exposed the technology. Way back in 96, uh, I think this whole technology and software uh, and internet technology, how it can enable the every sphere of our life, uh, you know, it started changing the world about three decades back. At least in India, that is, uh, you know, 90s was the age where uh, we uh, were more uh, into, started with the technology. And that is where I started, uh, you know, I didn't pick up, uh, a job which was easy to get, you know, and maybe it is easy to move uh, to the offshore. But I stayed to the core engineering, which was like a product development, which helped to, uh, you know, develop, say, automotive crash simulation analysis, right? And all my 2022 20, years has been in the product, uh, software product development. And it has given a rich dividends. I mean, the kind of uh, passion I have now to solve the problems. Of course, you know, you will learn technology, you will learn the tools, but core engineering is very, very important and it will make your foundation very strong and it will, you know, develop you for the life. So, uh, yeah, so if you look at uh, today, every company, uh, you know, has an IT department and uh, every small and big companies are applying technology to be competitive. So there is no question that you all would be involved in some sort of uh, technology job. But by learning the core engineering, I think you will become a very strong problem analyzer, problem solver, and a capable engineer. So make sure you don't start learning Java and learning language on day one. You need to focus on your core engineering in, in first few years. So remember, the, uh, your success is not defined by your grades. I think it is the impact that you will make and the problems that you will solve. So please you know, collaborate and work on the industry problems uh, as early as possible. My last message is about, you know, respect your parents, teachers and mentors. Parents are like root of, roots of the tree. You may not always see them, but you know that they're always there and they care for you, they support you. 
your teachers would lay the strong foundation for your future success they are going to shape you in the next four years so respect learn and collaborate with them to build a solid foundation that is required for your future and dear parents your child journey through engineering is a testament to your unwavering support that you have been giving him giving them they are soaring because you gave them those wings you have helped them make the right choices continue supporting them and loving them as they become a mature uh, you know to make uh, decisions i would like to touch upon ndi nissan digital india uh, we are a young organization uh, established 2019 and in a short span of over 4 5 years we have made a huge impact on global nissan uh, we are into across the technologies right from the big data technologies to the connected car uh, where we are able to connect the real time data how it comes from the car and how to respond to some of those accidents and the driver behaviors right so we are you know uh, across the technology and across the domain because typically a uh, automotive oem is like a conglomerate it involves all kinds of functions right from planning manufacturing r and d and uh, many of the smart connected uh, uh, product technology so Uh, and i am really happy that uh, we have started a strong collaboration with uh, mbct we have started this year with the elective programs we already have few students uh, in our campus and uh, we are also working on designing some of the in, you know electives which we plan to start somewhere from january next year as we meet here we my colleagues and also the faculties are also already, already working on the design of those uh, electives so i think uh, this is going to be a very win win collaboration for us uh, apart from the uh, strong faculties uh, that we have here i we would like to bring the experts from our organization to design the curriculum intervene i would say and tweak those curriculum to make sure they are tweaked to the you know uh, to make all the students industry ready so we we would continue and the the best part is mbc is one of the top tier organization i mean institute and also it's a autonomous institute so it helps us to design uh, the curriculum really well and i'm really glad that uh, this collaboration has uh, started and i'm committed to make it successful in closing i want to offer my heart heartfelt congratulations to each and every student for securing a place in this esteemed institution the road ahead is going to be challenging but it will also be uh, incredibly rewarding so go forth pursue your dreams and together let us create a world that is better and more sustainable many thanks to father john vargis and principal uh, dr abraham matthew sir for inviting me for this special event uh, you are tremendous work in nation building as a educationist uh, through this institute is truly commendable and i wish each and every one of you all the best thank you thank you sir we are honored to have sri christo george as a special guest on this occasion sri christo george is the founder chairman and managing director of kerala's own industry namely hikon india limited hikon was founded by sri christo george in 1991 after completing his be in electrical and electronics engineering in 1989 from bharathiyar university sri christo george is presently director of max value credits and investments limited and is currently associated with multiple companies like soljan energy private limited max value chits private limited max value consultancy services private limited crops india biotech private limited hikon solar energy private limited hikon india limited and hikon transcripts private limited Christo George was previously associated with Eddy Current Controls India Limited Chalakudi. Hikon India has a long list of products including electric auto, lithium battery, UPS inverter, stabilizers, solar water heaters and so on and is growing fast in their product portfolios. Sri Christo George has generously consented to start a product development center at our college. Today we will be exchanging the MOU for establishing the center soon. We also have with us his team members from Hikon India Limited Mr Ka Ms Catherine Christo director Hikon India Limited 
Mr. George Christo, Director, Hikon India Limited, Ms. Ansa George, Mr. R. Harikumar, Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Jacob Taragan, Vice President, Projects Department, Mr. Sudeep Kumar R., Principal and Advisor, Operations, Mr. Suresh Babu V.S., Principal Advisor, Technical Department. May I now invite Sri Christo George for the felicitation followed by the exchange of MOU between Hikon India Limited and MBCET. His Highness Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Mar Silva knows, Father John Vargas, Principal Dr. Abraham T. Matthew, Sri Ramesh Miraj, Dr. S. Vishwanatha Rao, Dr. Archana P. Das, faculty members, Dr. Usha, Engineer Sudeep, Engineer Suresh Babu, CEO of ICON, Mr. Harikuma, parents, young minds of India, the future of India, the future engineers. Good morning to all of you. Wow. Today, it was a wonderful start. Today it is demonstrated in front of knowledge there is no religion, there is no caste, there is no creed. We should give a big hand to the minds behind it for the management, the principal and the team who has done this. I will say that you are a very lucky batch of students. Why? Because of two reasons. One, you are in the right place at the right time, that is India. Second, you are in Basileo's College of Engineering. India is going to be one of the biggest economy in the world, no doubt about it. We can say that in your career, you can see that India reaching at least the second place in the world as a biggest economy. How India can reach the? For that, we should understand and look backward at least 75 years back. 1950 to 1980s, it was the time of US. US became the world leaders because of technology. And you really want to go to US. From 80s to 2000, it was the time of Japan. They conquered the whole world through quality, quality products. The cars conquered the whole world, competing every country, even US. Then come the time of China. From 90s to 2015, China became one of the biggest economy by mass manufacturing. Now it is the time of India. India can become the biggest economy through innovation. And innovation is happening throughout India. Every college is a lot of innovation, a lot of startup. We can see, as I has mentioned about Chandrayaan, it's a great innovation. For that, we should understand one thing is that for your success, is knowledge enough or more what you want for become a successful in your life? His Highness, he mentioned very clearly the difference between knowledge and wisdom. You can gain knowledge from classroom, no doubt about it. Now it is possible to get PhD. If you want to take PhD in swimming, you can sit in the classroom and make a thesis and spend time on front of computer by stimulating how to swim better. And you can get a PhD in hand. But can you swim? You have a degree in hand, a doctorate in hand, but in reality, you don't know how to swim. That is, is mentioning about practical knowledge, wisdom. What you gained sitting in the classroom, you have to spend time to practically experience it to gain wisdom. 
that take you to the success that is a lifelong process today we are happy to create a development center we were thinking about taking technology from sidac one of the premier organization in india who are one of the best in india we can say and we have taken technology from them ministry of electronics has funded them for a particular project 2 crores and we have to spend 2 crores from our side for developing cut and cutting end technologies to run a industry from solar without electricity from eb for that we need a storage that is the future from solar you have to store to the battery we have lithium batteries in place then you have bidirectional inverters we can pump to the grid if there is a excess power and each office each institution each factory in future will be self sufficient they will be generating power and selling power that's the future so we are opening a center we thought about we are a new factory coming up in a five acres land in kakanad cochin once we decide to have the technology technology is not enough we need people a team as it's a high end technology it's not easy to identify engineers so we rightly identified babu sir who is a retired person from keltron who is make manufactured 1000 kilowatt ups which is supplied to defense and all he is retired there and we thought like him the retired di director from cdac mr sudhi was here they agreed to take up because of one thing if you put up a development center in the college the faculty the students can gain wisdom it's not only the industry benefit a time has reached 10 years back we industries always talk about the gap between institutions engineering college and what industry want there's a huge gap the students who are passing out from college has to be trained again for one year to do the basics why when you are spending four years in college the day one when you are coming out if it is possible to employ actively so that day one onwards if you can give contribution to the factory or the company where you work that is what we are looking for then more discussion happen in the national level industry bodies institutions and association how to interact industry and institution to reduce that gap 10 years after now interaction is not sufficient we have to collaborate industry and institution should collaborate because you have the young minds and a very good knowledge in the institution and industry is the place for a practical knowledge if it is be merged together to create innovations india will reach to the biggest economy in the world without a, any difficulty i am a <coughs> i am a person with a learning disability i failed in fourth standard in fifth i can't write a b c d fully i can't by heart i learn things differently that is what dr abdul kalam our late president always talk about to the young generation dream 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 but nobody teaches us what to dream when to dream where to dream i got beatings while in school for dreaming so nobody teaches what you want you have to dream about your future dream big where you want to reach once you start dreaming big of your goal then the world make sure that it will happen to you i dream from the young age while i'll fail and sit in the class i dream about having nine companies and it happens in my life then i thought it's luck i am a lucky person your star should be in the right place you should be lucky to born later i learned about nlp neuro linguistic programming how to program your mind from there i understood that luck is created by you by your thoughts what you think you attract in your life so set goals in your life where you want to reach once you set that goals that is what our late president dr abdul kalam always talking about dream your goals so there's a great opportunity for you to grow This kind of opportunity never happened in India for the last 200 years. 
That's why I told you are a lucky batch of students. Only thing, you have to set goals where you want to reach. Don't think small. Thinking small and thinking big, therefore it is same. Then why don't we think big? That's only an attitude. So learn to think big. Start small. Create wisdom. And you can achieve your goals in your life, no doubt about it. A small advice to my parents here. Nowadays we can see the parents take many of the decisions on behalf of the students. Stop that. Let the student or the, your son or doctors take the decision by themselves. You support. And you think that it is not the right decision for you. There's a huge gap. What we think at our age is not right for this scenario now in this new generation. Let them decide what they want. Let be the decision taken by the each young mind sitting here. And if it is failing, well and fine. Let them learn from that failure. That take a fast career growth in their life. So top decision, let them be responsible. If it is a failure, let them be responsible. It is a success. From failure only, you can learn fast. I failed at a very young age. It gave me a tremendous courage, capacity to fail again. The more you fail, the more you succeed. So learning to fail is very important. So that's why the young generation is asked to do group activities, games, where one team wins, one team fails. But we are happily absorbed that. Okay, they, they win, won, good. But in real life, when you fail, you get depressed. Because you are never experienced failure in life. Because you are getting very good marks. So learn to fail at a very young age, it is much easier to succeed in your life in future. So once again, I'm thankful for, uh, because getting a development center to, in an institution is not that easy. Maybe we are one of the few institutions in India to take a bold decision and appreciate the principal, <coughs> Dr. Abraham T. Matthew and team to decide on this. It's a, we should give a big hand to him. And without a management, with a long vision, with a broad mind, can't accept it. Because we are an institution of 30 years, 50 years. We have a system. System has to be corrected very fast. What is innovation? If there is a system and if there is an improvement, there will be an improvement in the system. To innovation to happen, simple. If that system is going like this, you have to have a quantum jump. Whatever the process you are doing, change it. That is the time what is required. That is only innovation. Whatever the process in this organization, whatever the process in the industry, if you can have a quantum jump, it is innovation. And innovations are happening every campus. Yesterday, we had an interaction with the professor, not professor, pro vice chancellor from Brunei University. He is spending one week of his team with five of them came to Bangalore. I was sitting with them for three days. They are addressing the industries, 12 industries from South India. To understand what is your need, we'll solve your problems. Government of India is spending and signed contracts like we are signed today with different countries. So that university from India and a university or research center from India can join hands, solve the problem, and know it. There's a funding from India, there's a funding from UK for their industry as well as. So a lot of opportunity is there. More than one, two, maybe they told, totally when we worked out, understood that more than 10 billion fund is available floating in India for startups, for innovations. Even we can start research project for innovation, get grant from government of India. Number of research organization is the, for that the criteria is we need an industry, we need an institution, and if required, a research organization. Three are gelling here. We are as an industry partner. Our best friend from Nizan is here. Yesterday again we had a talk with a Japanese company. All over the world the companies want to come to India. Why? India is growing. India is going to be the biggest economy. In, yesterday in Russia with a Japanese company, they were asking, can we get good engineers? 
because it's very difficult for them to get engineers in Japan. I told we have future young minds who are capable to talk about uh, work, have wisdom on AI, artificial intelligence, driverless cars. I'm not talking. This are really happening in India right now. The technologies, the young engineers who are doing is cutting high-end technologies, which we are at competitive with in the international level. We had invested in recently one of the company who is making Toddy, Neera, a robot. No person to climb to the coconut tree can be fixed. And Toddy or Neera can be produced and through a tube under the coconut tree. Thousands and thousands of tappers have fallen around the coconut tree and uh, getting died throughout the world. More than 30 countries or 40 countries which produce coconut. And they got patent. More than 28 countries, they took the patent for developing that much of technology is happening right now in India. It is not from other part of India. It is happening in Cochin, Maker Village. So you should, while in college, while you are in the course, think about innovation, what you can do. Don't think about what you can do after college. This is the right time. And industries like us, we can support. There are 100 industries like our best friend Nissan, one of the biggest companies in the Japan. They will support you. So the innovation has to start from universities, colleges. And this is the right time. And thank you, everyone, for giving me the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now we'll have the exchange of MOU between Hiken India Limited and MBCT. I request all dignitaries on the dais to kindly join. Thank you. The MBCT family is blessed with a group of able and experienced team of faculty members to lead us in our pursuit of knowledge. We have a group of veterans. To introduce them, we have Dr. S. Vishwanath Rao, the Vice Principal and Dean Academics of MBCT. Before joining this college in January 2008, Dr. Rao was working as Assistant Division Director, Communication Division at Institute for Infocom Research I2R, a research institute under the Agency for Science, Technology and Research Singapore. He served the above institute for 10 years at various levels, from Senior Research Engineer to Program Director. Prior to joining I2R, he worked for the R&D division of the Indian Telephone Industries Bangalore for eight years in the area of communications and switching. He also worked for two years at PCI Limited, Singapore. Dr. Rao holds both, both master's and bachelor's degrees from IAIC Bangalore and PhD from University of Kerala. He is a senior member of IEEE and fellow of IET. May I now invite Dr. Vishwanath Rao to introduce the other senior faculty and staff members of our college. His Excellency, Most Revered Dr. Anthony Marcilvanos, Bishop of the Major 
archiepiscopal curia of the Malankara Catholic Major Archiepiscopal Church and the Apostolic Visitator to Oceania. Sri Ramesh Miraj, Divisional General Manager and Country Head, Nissan Digital India. Sri Christo George, Chairman and Managing Director, Icon India Limited. Respected Bassar, Principal, IQAC Coordinator, Respected Heads and Dignitaries from Sister Institutions, Invited Guests, Deans, HODs, Faculty Colleagues, Parents and Dear Students. Good morning and welcome to the inaugural function of the new academic year and the Student Induction Program 2023. It is both an honor and a privilege for me to stand before you today and introduce to you the senior members and staff of the MBCT family. To start with, we have Revered Father John Vagis Palanil Kunnadil, Barsar of the College. Barsar is the management representative in the campus looking after all the management functions. Father John Vagis Palanil Kunnadil assumed charge as the new Barsar of our college on 19 March 2022. After securing postgraduate degree in public administration and philosophy, B.L. and M.Phil degree, Father John Vagis has been serving in the field of education as a teacher and administrator in various institutions of the major archdiocese. He has traveled extensively in India and abroad on various missions. Father John Vagis is a source of strength and support for all our activities in the college. Dr. Abraham T. Matthew, the principal of our college. Dr. Abraham T. Matthew took charge as the principal of the college in October 2020. He was professor Department of Electrical Engineering at NIT Calicut and has a rich experience of over 37 years in academics, research and administration put together. Dr. Abraham T. Matthew completed his bachelor's degree from TKM College of Engineering, master's from College of Engineering Trivandrum and obtained his PhD in control systems from IIT Delhi. As an active researcher, he has got 92 publications in international journals and conferences with over 500 citations in Google Scholar. While at NIT, he has taken up a number of administrative roles such as Tech Coordinator, Registrar and Dean Research and Consultancy and was instrumental in securing funding close to 50 crores through different projects. Revered Father Thomas Mughalamparatha, Assistant Bursar. Revered Father Thomas Mughalamparatha assumed charge as the Assistant Bursar and Finance Officer on 19 March 2022 after his service as the Director of Malankara Social Service Society. After his licensure to theology from Rome, Father Thomas has served various institutions of the major archdiocese in various capacities for quite long. Dr. M.J. Jayashri, Coordinator, IQAC, the Internal Quality Assurance Cell, Professor and former HOD, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Dr. M.J. Jayashree took B.E. from N.A. College of Engineering and M.Tech from College of Engineering Trivandrum and her Ph.D. from University of Kerala. She joined MBCT in 2002 and has more than 20 years of teaching experience. Dr. Paul Thomas, Dean, PG Studies and Research and Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Professor Paul Thomas worked as scientist at VSSE for 20 years. After that, he was in the software industry for 10 years in various managerial roles. Before joining MBCT in 2012, he served at Amal Jyoti College of Engineering as professor in charge of MTech program. Dr. S. Ushagumari, Dean, Corporate Relations and Professor, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Dr. Ushagumari uh, was the former project head, Center of Excellence in Electric Vehicle, Trust Research Park, Tiruvanthapuram, and former professor and head, Department of Electrical Engineering, College of Engineering, Trivandrum. She has 33 years of experience in teaching and research, has 124 publications in international journals and conferences, and one patent her credit in the area of electric vehicles. Dr. Neetu Roy, Dean Research and Consultancy, and Professor, Department of Civil Engineering. Dr. Neetu Roy, former HOD of Civil Engineering and Professor, she studied her B.Tech and M.Tech from College of Engineering, Trivandrum, and PhD from IIT Madras. She is a faculty of the department since 2002. Dr. K. Murlidhan Nair, Dean Administration Professor, former HOD Department of Mechanical Engineering. 
Dr. Murali Dharandayar completed his B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering from TKM College of Engineering, M.Tech from CET and Ph.D. from IIT Kanpur. He has worked in industry for two years and has over 20 years of research and teaching experience. Dr. George Sakarya, Dean Student Affairs and Professor of English. Dr. George Sakarya was Professor, Department of English, Marivanias College. He joined MBCT in 2010 and has more than 39 years of service. He has written a number of books, won awards, and brings along with him a rich experience in the field of literature. Dr. Jisha SV, Head of Department of Civil Engineering. Dr. Jisha SV received her PhD from NIT Suratkal and MTech from TKM College of Engineering and Technology. She is the recipient of prestigious Tare Fellowship from Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. She has 15 years of experience in teaching, industry and research and has more than 30 publications in the reputed journals and conferences. Dr. M. Satyakumar, Professor and former HOD, Department of Civil Engineering. Dr. M. Suttikumar completed his B.Tech and M.Tech from CET and Ph.D. from IIT Madras. He retired as principal from Government College of Engineering, Kannur in 2016. He has 35 years of teaching experience and has been guiding a number of Ph.D. students. Dr. Elizabeth Kuruvela, Professor, Department of Civil Engineering. Dr. Elizabeth Kuruvela, who joined the MBCT family in October 2020, was working as a principal of KMCT College of Engineering for Women Calicut since 2009. She completed her BSc Engineering in Civil Engineering from TKM College of Engineering, MTech in Hydraulics and Water Resources Engineering from NIT Suratkal, and PhD in Water Resources from IIT Delhi. Dr. Jayashree S, Professor and former HOD Department of Civil Engineering. Dr. Jayashree S completed her B.Tech from TKM College of Engineering and M.Tech in Structural Engineering from CET. She completed her PhD from Kerala University. Before joining MBCT in 2006, she worked with the Kerala State Nirmiti Kendra for 10 years and has an industrial experience of over 14 years. Dr. Disha John, Head of the Department, Computer Science and Engineering. Dr. Jisha Don did her M.Tech from Department of Computer Science and Engineering and Ph.D. from University of Kerala. She has got 15 years of teaching experience. She joined the college in 2000, I mean July 2009, and prior to this, she worked in Vellur Institute of Technology. Dr. Tessie Matthew, Professor and former H.O.D., Department of Computer Science and Engineering. After completing her B.E. and M.Tech, Dr. Tessie Matthew worked in the industry for four years. She joined the college in 2006. She obtained her PhD from Velour Institute of Technology in 2017. Professor Raju K. Gopal, head, ITMS and professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. After his B.Tech and M.Tech from CET, Professor Raju K. Gopal worked as a research scientist at CDAC for 12 years from 1984. Subsequently, he worked in National Computer Systems Singapore for four years and Singapore Press Holdings as Network Specialist for 15 years. Dr. J. J. Gumari, Professor and Head of the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Dr. J. Gumari completed her BE degree from MS University, Tirunelveli, and both MTech and PhD, from degree, PhD degrees from University of Kerala. She was the Dean of Faculty of Technology, NI University. She has many years of teaching, research and administrative experience and has been in this field for more than 22 years. Dr. Jishani K, sorry, Dr. Nisha G K, Professor and Head, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Dr. Nisha completed her B.Tech in Electrical Engineering from TKM College of Engineering and Technology and M.Tech in Electrical Machines from CET, followed by her PhD from Kerala University in 2015. She joined MBCT in 2006 after serving University College of Engineering Karyavattam for five years. Dr. Remil George, Head of the Department Mechanical Engineering. Dr. Remil George joined MBCT in July 2008 as Assistant Professor. He took charge as Professor and Head of the Department in March 2023. He has completed his PhD in Mechanical Engineering from NIT Calicut. Dr. Archana Pidas, Head of the Department, Science and Humanities. Dr. Archana Pidas, Faculty of Chemistry, completed her MSc from MG University, MPhil from QSAT, and PhD from College of Engineering Trivandrum under University of Kerala. 
She joined the college in 2013 as a total, total teaching experience of 15 years. Professor Joseph Chirian, Professor of Mathematics, former head of department, Department of Science and Humanities. Professor Joseph Cherian is Professor of Maths and has close to 40 years of teaching experience, serving various government colleges, of which he spent 23 years in CET. Professor Y. Matthew, Professor of Physics. Professor Y. Matthew retired as Professor from Department of Physics, Marivanias College. He joined this institute in 2011. He has completed total 42 years of service. Dr. Deepak Raj, Assistant Director and Head of the Department of Physical Education. Dr. Deepak Raj completed Bachelor's in Physical Education from LNCP Kairiwattam, Master's from Annamalai University and PhD from Sri JJT University, Rajasthan. He has been with the college as Assistant Director since 2017 and has a rich experience of 23 years in the field of Physical Education. Dr. Shobha Teresa George, Student Counselor. Dr. Shobha Teresa George is a cons uh, consultant psychologist specialized in family therapy, obtaining her doctorate from Texas, USA. She has worked extensively with families, couples, parents, adolescents, and children while in US, Muscat, and India, addressing diverse issues on mental health. She works as a consultant psychotherapist in several institutions and has been part of MBCT for more than 12 years. Dr. Pradeep M, Controller of Examinations and former Head of Department of Mechanical Engineering. Dr. Pradeep, who is an Associate Professor from the Department of Mechanical Engineering, completed his B.Tech from QSAT, M.Tech from Mar Athanasius College of Kothamangalam, and PhD from Kerala University. He joined the college in 2006 and has an experience of over 18 years. Ms. Elizabeth Vaggis, Associate Professor and former HOD Department of Electrical Engineering. After completing her B.Tech in Electrical and Electronics Engineering from RIT Kottayam and M.Tech in Control Systems from College of Engineering Trivandrum, Ms. Elizabeth Vaggis joined MBCT in 2003. She has been the Admission Coordinator since 2009. Ms. Asha S., Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Ms. Asha joined the institution in the year 2004. She completed her MTech from Anna University. She is the KTU Coordinator and Kerala University Chief Superintendent of the College. Mr. Vipin Kumar KC, Chief Operating Officer, Corporate Relations. Mr. Vipin Kumar brings along 17 years of multifaceted professional leadership experience in human resource management, entrepreneurial development, life skills, career development, corporate relations and strategic liaising with government and private organizations and many more. He has handled different key managerial as well as leadership roles in a number of organizations and academic institutions. Mr. Abel George, Placement Officer. Mr. Abel George is our placement officer. Mr. Abel George has an experience in teaching and placement for about nine years. He obtained his MBA in HR management and MTech in power systems. He has worked in various institutions spread across Kerala and joined MBCT on August 2023. Mr. Mohan George, office superintendent. Mr. Mohan George graduated, from, graduated in commerce from Marivanias College. He joined this college as administrative staff at the time of inception in 2002 and with more than 20 years of experience since then, he is currently the office superintendent. Mr. Binu K. John, librarian. Mr. Binu K. John is our librarian. He joined MBCT in 2002 and has played a key role in establishing a good library management system. Binu is a MLIC, MPhil, PGDCA and UGC net qualified professional. Dear students, during the four years of your stay here, you will come across a host of opportunities in academics, co-curricular and extracurricular activities. Our team that includes both young and experienced will guide you through to your full potential as professionals and serve the society better. And with this, I conclude. Best wishes to each and every one of you. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir.
May I now invite Dr. Archana P. Das, Head of Science and Humanities Department and First Year Faculty Coordinator to brief on the Student Induction Program, SIP 2023. His Excellency Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Marcelvanos, dignitaries on and off the dais, colleagues, parents, and dear students, good morning and warm greeting to one and all. New students enter an institution with diverse thoughts, backgrounds, and preparations. They come into an unfamiliar environment, and it is an important task to welcome them to higher education and prepare them for their new role. All India Council for Technical Education has introduced a mandatory student induction program to help the students adjust and feel comfortable in the new environment, inculcate in them the culture of the institution, help them build bonds with other students and faculty members, and expose them to a sense of larger purpose and self-exploration. The student induction program is designed to help the students to have a smooth transition from school life to college life and therefore should be taken seriously and as something more than a mere orientation program. I would like to give a brief overview of the program across the two weeks from 11 September to 21st September. The students will be taken on a campus tour so that they could get information in advance about the facilities available in the institution. Respective department level introductions will be given to the students where they will be told about what getting into a branch or department means and what role it plays in society through its technology. They will also get to know about various professional bodies, student chapters and clubs that are active in the campus. In addition, expert talks are arranged on anti-narcotics, cyber security, health awareness and lot more. Universal Human Value Module is another important content of the SIP. It will help the students to explore oneself and experience the joy of learning, stand up to peer pressure, take decisions with courage, and create awareness about the relationship with people around them. To refresh fundamental knowledge of mathematics, physics, programming skills, and English language, Proficiency modules and bridge courses will be offered so that when the normal courses start after the induction program, the student will be already have bridged the gap. An introduction to new areas like engineering graphics and mechanics will be given during this period. Sports activities will also be a part of the induction program. I hope you got an overview of the next two weeks program. Attendance will be taken from today onwards. The students are expected to take summary notes and their takeaways from each session. Best wishes to each one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. As a token of our love and gratitude on behalf of the MBCT family, I request His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Mar Silvanos, to present mementos to Sri Ramesh Miraj and Sri Krishto George. Thank you, Your Excellency. Next, I humbly request Reverend Father John Burgess, Bursar of MBCT, to present a memento to His Excellency, Most Reverend Dr. Anthony Mar Silvanos. Thank you, Father. Next, I invite Dr. M.J. Jayasri, Chairperson, SIP Cell and IQAC Coordinator, to propose the word of thanks. So respected dignitaries on and off the dais, dear parents and students, a warm good morning to one and all. So let me begin by thanking God Almighty who has always been with us as our guiding light through thick and thin. As we approach the ending of the solemn ceremony of Paradox 2023, one of the most significant events of this academic year in Mar Basilius College of Engineering and Technology, I am delighted to propose the word of thanks. So today,
we are blessed with the presence of his excellency most reverend dr andre mar silvanos bishop of the major arch episcopal curio of the malangara catholic major arch episcopal church and the apostolic visitator to the asiana thank you your excellency for your kind presence and words of wisdom now we extend a profound gratitude to sri ramesh miraj divisional general manager and country head nissan digital india llp nissan motor corporation who has wholeheartedly accepted our invitation and honored us today with his gracious presence to deliver the keynote address so on behalf of the mbct family and on my own behalf i extend a warm thanks i take this opportunity to convey our cordial thanks to sri christo george chairman and managing di director hikan india limited and the team who have come here for the exchange of mou between hikan india limited and mbct and to felicitate the gathering <laughs> let me thank our bassa for the john vergis for all his unwavering support and encouragement for each activity of the college so thank you for the now i proffer my sincere gratitude to our principal dr abraham t matthew for leading the college in its journey as an autonomous institution thank you sir for your invaluable help advice and guidance now let me thank our assistant bassa reverend father thomas muglambrath for his constant supervision in all the arrangement aspects of this event thank you father I also thank the bazaar and principal of other sister institutions. Now I extend a hearty thanks to Dr. S. Vishwanath Rao, Vice Principal and Dean Academics, who ensures the smooth conduct of all activities of the college. Thank you, sir, for introducing the uh, senior members of the MBCT family to this August gathering. So I wish to thank. all the deans and head of the various departments for their valuable contribution in making the necessary arrangements for this event and the student induction program so let me extend a deep appreciation and gratitude to the admission team led by ms elizabeth vargis for their hard work and constant efforts and i must express our gratefulness to jo dr george sakriya professor and dean uh, dean student affairs assisted by dr deepak raj and dr didi np and the members of the ragam the music club of mbct for the prayer ceremony of parados 2023 so thank you sir and the team and i would like to place on record my sincere gratitude to dr archana pidas the first year coordinator and the principal coordinator of the student induction program and the entire committee of the sip and coordinators of parados 2023 and their team for the perfect arrangements made for conducting this program and hereby express my sense of gratitude to the dedicated and well motivated team of our college the ug faculty advisors and faculty members for making this day happen and special thanks to professor raju k gobal and the entire itms team for all their technical support and big thanks to ms terrible soji jajan and ms ansu matthew for comparing the entire event and also acknowledge the administrative staff non teaching staff and housekeeping staff for all their logistic support and our sincere gratitude also goes to the media jeevan studio and the members of the frames the photography club of mbcet and a special thanks to miss veena george the minister of health and women and child development and she is now here as a parent of her with her daughter now let me convey my ardent thanks to all the parents for your decision to be a part of mbct family and joining us today so i assure you that this relationship which starts here today will continue forever so i heartily express our sincere appreciation to our 
2023-2027 UG students for choosing MBCT for your undergraduate studies and for attending this event today. Let me conclude by once again thanking each one of you. So, learn to think big as said by our guest of honor, Sri Christo Jaj. Uh, in, in addition to that, enjoy and have a uh, nice four years ahead. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Kindly stand for the national anthem. Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, Dravida, Uttada, Vanga, Vindhya, Himachal, Yamuna, Ganga, Uchchal, Jaladhita, Ranga, Tava, Shubha, Name, Jage, Tava, Shubha, Aashish, Mange, Gahe, Tava, Jaya, Gaga, Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jayahe Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Jayahe 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 Jaya 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 Jayahe Parados 2023 has come to a close. Kindly be seated. The students for the attention of all present here, now His Excellency and the guests will be accompanied by our Bursar Father John Vargis. Parents remain here. Students will be assembling here in the hall as per the names called by the advisors. They will be guided to the classrooms for department level briefing. Parents can remain here. Our Vice Principal Dr. S. Vishwanath Rao will be addressing the principals, followed by the interactions with the head of the department. We have prepared a format for collecting the details of the parents and the data sheet is available on the counter of the respective department. So parents are requested to collect the form, fill up the details, sign on themselves. We need to verify the contact and we need to have the record of the contact details of the, each of the parent, father as well as mother for future purpose. So please collect the form from the respective counters of the department, fill it, sign it and return it in the same counter and more instructions will be given now from our team. Thank you. I repeat what Principal Sir has instructed. The students will now be directed to their respective classes by their staff advisors. Parents, please remain seated in the hall itself. Our Vice Principal will be addressing you soon. Also, we request all the parents, faculty, staff and students to assemble back in the hall and join for the lunch by 1 p.m. I repeat, we request all the parents,